What's up, guys? I'm the Russell Gamer. Welcome back to our Stardom Watch Along of New Blood 10 right here on WGS TV. Joining me on commentary is the Stardom Man, Ashley and Jamper. And we're going to be taking a look at what is called the Supernova 5. Let me make sure I'm, I'm reading this correctly. The Supernova 5 Match Trial EX. Now, before we get started, Ash, do you want to explain that a little bit about what this is going to be? Between Miyu Amasaki so, and Sayori Ano? Miyu Amasaki being uh, the newcomer to the promotion uh, was set to go through basically a trial series of matches against, you know, the 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 top stars to sort of prove her worth, like uh, hone her skills, if you will. Inject passion, if you will. Maybe, maybe that will happen somewhere down the line as well. But uh, yeah, so the, the top the top wrestlers in the company uh, getting the chance to, more often than not, probably beat Miyu Amasaki, but it's the experience and learning God knows how much off of it. Um, she's already had her five matches, I believe. So EX shows you that this is, I guess, match six or maybe match seven of Amasaki's uh, run of her sort of gauntlet, if you will, wasn't her, matches. Wasn't her last match supposed to be against Azumi for that? At the last New Blood? I believe that's what uh, it was. I think yeah, and I can't. I think I can't remember if it happened or not because there was there was one. Well, me, me, I'm a show and up I, in Gato move. But I, I, I'm um, telling this for certain because I watched New Blood Nine and it, the, there was a match with Miyu Amasaki and Azumi. But they also yeah, built that as Miyu's uh, final match, is what it said. Yeah. And there, so, but um, anyway, for the we're gonna allow everyone right now to pause this video. Get everything set up on Stardom. Well, by the way, again, we're gonna we've been saying this for these past few, uh, five videos. We're gonna say this again: Stardom World between six and seven dollars. Hell of a deal for the content that's on here. A hell of a deal for the content that is on here. Be sure you guys check it out. Again, six to seven dollars a month. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. But we're gonna allow everyone right now to pause this video. Okay, now. We're going to assume that you guys have unpaused it and you guys have everything synced up and you're ready at zero. So here goes for the watch along countdown in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So this should be some very different contrasting styles between Sayori Ano and Miyu Amasaki for sure. Certainly as well, because uh, Anna, uh, long time member of the uh, Ice Ribbon roster, and then uh, joined up with the Cosmic Angels back in April, if I believe. Yeah, te technically, <laughs> interesting with her, did she sort of, she hasn't officially left um ice ribbon to some extent it's more that she's become a sort of a full-term freelancer but with everything that sort of happened and everything it does seem like whether she's gonna become a stardom full-on full-time member or, or will remain independent but just affiliated with Cosmic Angels, which to be fair is something that Cosmic Angels are used to. What with uh, Unagi, uh, Sayaka, and uh, a few other members, Saki, and all that being in stardom, but also being uh, independent as well. Well, Suzu Suzuki was a prominent, prominent member. I see what I did there. Um, Here comes Miyu Amasaki of Queen's Quest. And we were just talking about the matchup she had with Azumi and New Blood 9. And boy, boy, she really took Azumi 
who is a long-time high-speed champion, again, to her absolute limit, and I personally believe earned the respect of not only Azumi in that match, and not only a lot of the fans, but a, a lot of the respect from her other Queen's Quest members from that contest, Ash. Certainly, yeah. Now, Jamper, I think this is your first time seeing Sayori Ano here. What's the vibe you, you, you're getting from her? Uh... Almost expressionless right now. Twenty-one-year-old Miyu Amasaki, by the way. Also, the opening round of the five-star Grand Prix, Sarah Ano had a very bloody encounter with Julia in that opening round, which w went to a time limit draw. Uh, I know, because I watched it. The draw or count out? No, it was a time limit draw. Right. But to hang with someone like well, Julia... It makes sense because of the history between the two of them. Look at me on the sake. Oh, that was almost an act of disrespect to Amasaki and then scores a drop kick. And then they're going in for the handshake for the code of honor and instead just kind of condescendingly grabbed the trin of Saori and Saori didn't take too well to that. Oh, there's a big boot by Saori. I'll tell you what, right now, the last person I would want to make mad in this match, Jamper, is one Sayori Ana, because she is very, very vicious. I mean, look what she's doing right now to Miyu Amasaki. And then she hung with Julia to a time limit draw, despite, despite being bloodied from the onset of the match. She still hung with Julia, who was known to be a very violent, very strong competitor in her own right. Let's see right I now. I don't remember whether it was Sayori or Julia that got the upper hand in their stuff in Ice Ribbon. I'm not sure. Look, now no, figure I mean, for it. Certainly in previous promos, Julia was expressing her sort of a specter from her past. And, you know, if, 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 if somebody that's on the level of Julia is around uh there's somebody that has to be considered a threat not just within the tournament but just in this match itself a tough one for Miyu Amasaki to uh try and get a win here for sure and even though they may be tag team champions and, and partners right now jamper not too long ago Siori and Natsupoi had to work out their own issues and he did it the only way they could in an Indian strap match which was again a very violent match to say the least. It was saw Sayori Ano picking up the win, but they did say after that match was over that whatever beefs the, that they had between each other were kind of quashed. Nice drop kick right there by Miyu Amasaki. Now Amasaki. What an handspring elbow, very great Muda like. And another beautiful drop kick. Goes for the cover on Sayori and only a two. Part of me does wonder if a lot of people are doing the Muda elbow because uh, he's no longer doing it because of his retirement. Um, if it gets into the repertoire as a show of respect, then so be it. And it would be a great way to pay tribute to him. No, oh, a big, big shot right there by Saori. And now Mio fires back with a right of her own. And Jamper, we said it before and we say it again. Women in Japan hit hard. I mean, look at these, look at these hits between these two, between Sayori and Miyu Amasaki. And now Amasaki just taking it 
scores the DDT. We hope you guys have been enjoying this watch along with our commentary. And don't forget the main event of Stardom New Blood 10, Rena defending the future of Stardom Championship against Waka Tsukiyama of, of Club Venus. Fisherman's, Fisherman suplex with a bridge and only a two count. And now look at that transition from that suplex bridge. Oh God, into that straight jacket submission. Almost a cross X submission. Just trying to cut off that carotid artery. Make it difficult for me. I'm a sucky to breathe. That's going to be a very torturous submission hold right here, Jamper. I mean, look at the bend. Just how how much more of this can Leo Amasaki withstand in this hold? Well, nearly at the ropes. And she's also got a waist lock on with her legs. Again, making it doubly hard. Well, now they're um, in the ropes. Just about managed to turn over and have enough stretch to be able to break the hold. But you know that's not going to deter Sariana one bit. She's oh for sure. Yeah, she has ascended to the top rope, off the top rope with a beautiful missile drop kick, and then casually goes in for the cover on Amasaki and only a two count. Five minutes past. Five minutes past. Siari trying to drag up Amasaki. Amasaki is not moving. Oh, but apparently Siari, after grabbing Amasaki's ear, kind of wakes her up, and now Amasaki with the rapid fire elbows right to the chest cavity of Sayori Otto. And now Amasaki now she's putting the boots to what half of the Goddess of Stardom Tag Team Champions. This would be a huge victory for Miyu Amasaki where a possible uh, Maybe a potential future tag team title ma match in store for Miyu Amasaki and Queen's Quest. If she possibly could get a win here tonight, Ash. Uh, there's a chance. Now, Amasaki just unrelenting with those elbow strikes. And now just repeated stomps to the back. And again, Amasaki is just content on beating down Siori Ano. And Siori trying to do anything she can to create some separation here. They're in the corner now. And again, Amasaki is just unrelenting with this attack. That goes to that fire, that tenacity that Emir Amasaki has, Ash. Certainly, you've got to... Uh... Oh! You can't, you can't say her head isn't in the game and she isn't hacking it and trying to get that win and oh, nearly gets it there. Yeah, what a what a beautiful face buster. And now an inverted rings of Saturn. She has both arms grapevine and she's got a hold of a neck. Almost a modified prison lock from Amasaki looking for the submission here. Just stretching out the neck and stretching out the shoulder and the rotator cuff the rotator cuffs. Sorry, he's trying to find some way to get to the ropes. And finally does forcing the break. Amasaki is not releasing the hold even though they're in the ropes. And I'm a sucky yeah, break. So Gee, I wonder where I've heard that before. Uh, 
probably when I said it last time. Um, off the ropes! Off the ropes! Beautiful tornado DDT by Amasaki spiking her on her head and only a two! Only a two! That was a beautiful tornado DDT from Mio Amasaki and you could not put Sari away. And now Sari going for possibly a sit out pedigree, but there's a step up in Zaguri by Sayori. Puts a stop right to that. And now Sayori with a handful of hair. Pulls Amasaki back up to a vertical base. Thinking maybe a possible germ. Oh! What a shot right to the jaw of Sayori. And, and now Miyu Amasaki pendulum DDT. Masaki goes for the cover. Oh! That hand was coming down for the three. It was coming down for the three. And yet somehow Sayori kicks out. And now Amasaki, Hammerlock DDT. Be it, be it missed to say that the DDT was one of Amasaki's favorite moves, but that one only got her two. Ten minutes have passed in this match. Five minutes remain. And here we go. Off the ropes, misses a clothesline. Go behind. I think Sari was thinking of German. Amasaki got a... Oh, what a bridge, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. What a German by Sari. And somehow Miyu kicks out. Part of me wonders now whether sort of... Miyu obviously wants to win, but... I mean, if you can get a draw and make sure that... Oh, wait a minute. Look at that pin. Well. Look at that pin. Look at that pin. Look at that pin. Only a two. Yeah, you know, trying to... Trying to get, you know... Make sure you don't get an L. It still shows that you uh, you gave it your best. Oh, oh, high angle good. German, high angle German, and only a two. And I think Sorry said it's over. I think she thought. I mean, that was very close. That was like a two point nine, and there it is. The running blockbuster with a bridge, and it's over. I'm pretty sure Sayori has got a, an elaborate name for it. But that was like a running blockbuster into a bridge for a pin. A beautiful maneuver by one half of the Goddess of Stardom Tag Team Champions. But again, talk about pushing your opponent to the very absolute limit. Mio Amasaki has done it once again. L look at that mark on the uh, on the chin of Sayori Ano. Kind of, the, kind of the, the scars of war right there, Jamper, wouldn't you say? But indeed, an impressive win over a very game Miyu Amasaki, to say the least. The Tenth Tundra. Or as we say here in Louisiana, the Tom Tundra. If you're from Louisiana, you'll understand that. But now, Jennifer, do you want to read our subtitles? No, you go ahead, Billy. Mio Amasaki from Kyoto. I felt the Kansai spirit from you. Today, I felt hope from Mio. You. you should be proud, Amasaki. I agree with that statement. I agree with it. Thank you. Let's do it again sometime. And like I said already, Miu pushed Say Sayori Lash to her absolute limit. Wait a minute. She's saying, Miu is saying, please wait. Miu said, today, today I'm really happy that I could fight Otto. Thank you.
I have to say, from my personal opinion, Ash, as a commentator and a fan, that Miyu amasaki has got nothing to hang her head over in this match. Absolutely not. I mean, throughout the entire series, I think she hasn't won any of the matches, but has had a quite exceptional uh, performances against, I'd say, all, was it, six, seven, 52, what? Right? A lot. And we're seeing Lady C and Utami Hayashishida assisting Miyu Amasaki out of there. I mean, do not sell Amasaki, Miyu Amasaki short. She, like we, we just said, ladies and gentlemen, an amazing talent, a great match. She came out on the losing end, but again, it was a very highly contested match, to say the least. Again, put, she pushed Sayu Ano to her very absolute limit. So a great matchup, to say the least. But in our next match, we're going to be seeing some passion being injected. What we mean about that? Well, you're just going to have to wait and find out in the next video. So with that being said, I'm the Russell Gamer for Ashley and Jamper. So we'll see you in the next match.